Today, we are learning to compare fractions using the benchmarking strategy with Miss Poyne and Miss Leo. So what is benchmarking? Benchmarking is a thinking strategy that can be used to compare the quantity of two fractions and involves using a third fraction as a benchmark, usually zero, half or one. The benchmark fractions are more familiar to us and help us to compare less familiar fractions. In this video, we are using the benchmarking strategy to compare two fractions different numerators and denominators. Is 2 fifths greater than, less than, or equal to 5 eighths? First we need to compare each fraction against its benchmark. When we are using the half benchmark with 2 fifths, we first find half of the denominator, which would be 2 and a half fifths, because 5 fifths is a whole, and half of 5 equal parts is 2 and a half equal parts. Now we can see that 2 fifths is just below a half. Now let's compare a second fraction of 5 eighths using the half benchmark. We can see that 4 eighths is half of the whole and 5 eighths is just over half. So now we can see that 5 eighths is greater than 2 fifths. What if we change the first fraction to 4 fifths? How do we know which one is larger? We know that 5 eighths is just over half and we also know that 4 fifths is greater than half because it is more than 2 and a half fifths. If they are both over half, how do we know which fraction is larger? Instead of using the half benchmark, we can see that 4 fifths is actually closer to 5 fifths, which is a whole. Here we have used the whole as a benchmark to determine that 4 fifths is greater than 5 eighths. Similarly, if we have two fractions that are below a half, we can use zero as a benchmark to determine which one is larger. When comparing two tenths and three sevenths, we can see that two tenths is closer to zero and three sevenths is closer to a half, and therefore two tenths is less than three sevenths. When we focus on what's left over from the fraction that is needed to make a whole, we are using residual thinking. Residual means what's left over. If we were to compare 5 fifths and 7 eighths, they are both just one part of their fraction away from being a whole. So which fraction is larger? 1 eighth is smaller than 1 sixth because the equal part in eighths are smaller than the equal parts in sixths. 7 eighths is closer to a whole and is therefore the larger number. 1 eighth and 1 sixth are the residuals that we are comparing. So if someone was to incorrectly think that both of these fractions were the same because they are only one number away from the whole, they are using the misconception of gap thinking. They think that the numerator is a whole number and you only need to add one more to the numerator to make a whole so that the numerator and denominator are the same. They have not considered the size of the fraction's parts that are left over to make the whole. So we now know that we must use fractional thinking when dealing with fractions. We hope you enjoyed learning how to compare fractions using the benchmarking strategy. Thanks for watching.